everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i am going to discuss about feedbacks in design now feedbacks are extremely important whether you are starting out a career in design or you are taking feedback from other stakeholders or your product managers or senior designers in this video i am going to cover how you can take feedbacks correctly and incorporate that into your design so without further ado let's get started Now if you are someone who is starting out in design and you are looking for feedback let's say you have done a one page ui mock up and you are looking for feedback from your senior colleagues or from other designers then make sure that you have a context behind it right i mean you are trying to communicate a user problem and how you are solving that user problem through your design If you go ahead and start taking feedbacks on your daily UI challenges without even having a proper context then it's going to be really difficult for anyone to give you a quality feedback which you would be expecting I've seen a lot of designers who are starting out they say please provide feedback on my case study or this is my first design case study please give me your thoughts on them not that I have not done something like that even I was at the same place but i do understand that feedbacks cannot be asked in a very vague way you need to be extremely specific about your feedbacks what are the areas which you want them to review and what are the areas which you think can be improved more now let me show you that with the help of an example suppose you're looking for feedback from some other designers or some senior designers here is something which you can try Hello this is my first UX case study I am looking for feedback in the following areas first am i able to clearly define the problem statement for the target audience second i need your feedback on the logical flow of the case study third i need your suggestions on how i can show design scalability for my designs in this case study In this way you are being extremely specific about what feedback you expect out of them and even the reviewer would feel that you have done your uh, homework and when you have come to them for a feedback you really know what you have worked on and you know what areas you want to improve on and that gives a really good impression on the reviewer as well now this is about taking feedback from other designers or from the design community what happens when you start working in a company is it the same There are a lot of people who are actually responsible for taking a decision in a company. You must identify those stakeholders whether they are PMs or they are from development team or whether it is your design lead so on and so forth. Based on that you should go ahead and start taking feedbacks. Remember that when you are asking for feedbacks from different stakeholders there is very likely that there will be conflict there will be conflict of opinion different stakeholders might think differently based on priorities. you have to take a decision about how you would go around asking for feedbacks let's say you're going to your pm or other stakeholders for feedback first of all what you should do is give them a context about your work what is the problem statement which you are trying to solve what are the explorations which you did also give them rationale behind your designs why did you come up with this solution why not something else justify all your designs based on either data or based on other user research or anything else to back up your decisions the early on you start taking feedbacks the better it would be for your designs to improve over a period of time whether it is from your stakeholders or from users or from dev team or even pm now let me show you an example of how a design can evolve based on feedback and iterations This is an example of a product card in e-commerce. As you can see, the first design is of a camera, Canon camera, where the price, the name and the rating of the product is mentioned. After the first iteration, there was a feedback from the PM that the brand of the camera is extremely important and it plays a major role in selling a lot of cameras uh, across the e-commerce website. So, the camera brand was placed on the top of the product name and then the product price was mentioned with another round of iterations we decided that 
it would be beneficial for the users if they have different variants of the camera that is the that is the different variants of the color of the camera is also mentioned as a part of the product card so you see how with feedbacks at different stages the design is evolved now this is just one example i'm sure when you start working in a company there would be even more complicated problem statements which would require you to undergo multiple round of feedbacks to get to your finished design and which is justified because the end product would be something which the users would absolutely love that's it that's a wrap for this video it's a short video which talks about how you can get feedbacks and what feedback can actually do to your design and the end product please share it with someone whom you think needs this advice and i will see you all in the next video till then thank you